Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Shannon with the Coastal Garden here. Just wanting to give you guys a quick update of my garden here in Central Florida. Um, so I harvested my one and only first pumpkin uh, the other day. I just, the vines started getting some pests on them and I didn't want it to spread to some new stuff that I have going. And um, I had, you know, a couple pumpkin starts that I'm going to be taking up to our property. So I didn't want the bugs to start spreading. So I went ahead and took a risk. We haven't cut into it yet, but a couple people told me, and I researched, when the tendril on the pumpkin dies, it's generally ready for harvesting. And that goes for watermelons and melons as well. And when you flick it, it should sound hollow, which it pretty much does. Um, I'm thinking this is a survivor pumpkin. It definitely looked like one before, but now it's starting to get rid of all that, that greenish pigmentation on it and stuff. And it does look like a little smoky. I don't know if this is from water residue or what. Um, but I'm excited to get into this and see how it tastes. And we're gonna definitely roast the pumpkin seeds. My husband loves pumpkin seeds, so. This is for him for sure. And then the girls look at the rest of it because pumpkin's really good for chickens as well. Um, helps their digestive system and for your dogs, if you have dogs. Um, so the dog, rudder may be getting some of that as well. But, but other than that, so I'll take you over here and show the trellis. Um, I cleaned it all up and it's ready for some new stuff. So this is the trellis that the pumpkin was on. I cleaned it all up, um, got rid of all the tomatoes and stuff. It's middle of May now and in Central Florida, I know everybody else is starting their tomatoes, but ours are definitely pittering out. So I've got a couple more left. Um, you can see right there are some, got a couple more right there. And then I have um, just a few here on this vine. The peppers are really starting to thrive and so is my eggplant. I've got quite a bit of eggplants going, which we're excited. This is a mini eggplant um, bush. So those will be really nice for grilling and for adding kind of like as a side dish. Um, I have some Okinawa spinach in here and my longevity spinach. And then I still have some kale, believe it or not. That's still trucking along here it's doing pretty good my oregano is blowing up like crazy I've been cutting this and giving this to the girls as well they they like that and it's a really good supplement if you guys have chickens um this is the other pumpkin that I have left here this is a survivor pumpkin it's not my single seed challenge it's just another seed that I started this one's not doing as well I had a um cabbage worm on it it looks like the ants are eating the leaves can see like this leaf looked like something took two little chunks out of it and then I cut off a lot of the other leaves seem to have pests so I'm gonna kind of keep my eye on it a lot of times when they don't get a, a healthy start they generally struggle for ever so if it doesn't kind of get a better look to it here I may pull that one probably gonna plant some beans in this one I have beans over here and you can see they're starting to do really well these are those Thai long beans um, they're just all kinds of snake beans and stuff that I have from Baker Creek in here. And those are really nice because they do really, really well in our heat. So I'm not getting dragon tongues anymore. I'm not getting royal beans anymore. I'm not getting anything, but these will start to really thrive. So if you guys are looking to do a bean, these are great. And they'll come on this trellis and they will hang way down. And one bean will probably take the place of three beans of the other ones, so they're really cool. This is um, okra. I have a bunch of okra in here. When I was soaking the seeds, I had them all separated and organized, and then I came back and they were all unseparated and unorganized. So it's honestly a little bit of all the okra I have. So obviously this one is a red okra, and then there's green Clemson in here, and um, there is a emerald, and. All kinds of okra in there. Um, let me take you over to these beds. The jalapenos doing really well. Also, look at all those jalapenos. And then this is a Hungarian wax pepper. 
We just have one on there now. I harvested one the other day. Um, these are purple bell peppers that I grew from seed. And then I have more okra in here. And I definitely have a lot more space. I can plant some stuff here. These are tomatillos. I have three little seedlings coming up. Actually, that looks like a fourth. This is another eggplant. Um, it's an Ichiban eggplant. This one has kind of struggled too. I haven't had a whole lot of flowers. You can see all the leaf miners on the leaves. So we'll kind of keep our eye on that one. Then in here I have some more peppers that I've grown from seed. I have lasaya and a mini bell pepper right here. And then back there I have more um, eggplants that I grew from seed. These are the little frog egg ones, I believe. Um, yes, they're like tie round or frog egg eggplants, they call them. Okay, so in my greenhouse, these are some of my tomato starts. This is an orange hat. Um, these are little tabletop tomatoes from Baker Creek. I love orange tomatoes. Um, so I, I um, did a couple of those. These are from the Proven Winners. I showed you guys a seed packet a couple videos back. This is the Patio Sunshine. They do yellow little cherry tomatoes. Um, another great container plant. These are Sugar Baby Watermelon. I'm going to be maybe leaving one here for a trellis. Definitely taking another up to our property. And this is a blue cream berry tomato. Um, not sure if I'm going to be leaving that here or taking that. Probably taking. Then... Oh, look at this guy. He's popping up. This is a cacti squash. This is another one I got from Baker Creek. Definitely gonna be taking these guys up there. Um, they are really, really good for roasting the seeds. So my husband loves those. I will be doing that. This is a Jiradale pumpkin. This is like a grayish blue pumpkin. I mainly want this to decorate for the fall. So I will be so excited if I can have my own pumpkins to decorate in the fall. And then back here we have a sweet glow watermelon. These three will all be going up to the property because they are going to get big. They are full size watermelons. Um, so they will not have room here. Then down here I have my peppers that I have transplanted from their seedling trays. This is that nocturne pepper. I have two of those out of four that are doing really well. Habanadas, two of those. Now all four of these Adversky peppers from Baker Creek are still doing very well. Um, oh, the wren wall kicked off, so I guess I only have one of those left. And then these are cubanelles that I've grown from seed. I really love cubanelles. As long as, as, long as you pick them young, they they're good. If you leave them a little too long, they get spicy. They're a little too spicy for me, but I love them when they're young. And I'm very excited to try all these because all of these peppers um, are supposed to be a really good roasting pepper, a grilling pepper, and none of them have too much heat. I like a little heat, just not a lot. And then same with my green stalks. I'm getting quite a bit of peppers coming along. That's a Marconi right there. Um, I have some calendula that I grew from seed. Those are all doing pretty good. I have a nice green bell pepper there. And the Everglades are still doing pretty good in this one. I've given this a little bit more shade. Oh, there's another pepper. Um, so the Everglades are doing pretty good still. Here's some more. I just had a handful of them because I can't resist. And more peppers. Um, these down here, this is what I was talking about with the green stalk. Like, sometimes these peppers just get a little too leggy. So, and this yellow bell here isn't doing anything. Um, so these maybe get new homes or maybe I'll move them up. But you can even see here, like, this guy is just way too leggy. I like my peppers and you can see here as well. I like them to be short and stocky. So I may be moving my peppers out. Maybe I'll put them in this bed and then I'm, I'm debating on doing some melons, um, doing maybe more beans. 
Not that I need any, I think there's like six plants there. But it's good to succession plant and then you kind of always have something coming in. Um, so we'll see, I'm gonna trim obviously this oregano back. Those are just flowers, so those can definitely be trimmed back. And then the Okinawa spinach and the Longevity spinach goes to town. I have so much of that growing everywhere. If you guys have any of that, I highly recommend it. If you don't, um, because you can just cut, take a cutting, put it in the ground, and then you're gonna start a whole new plant. And I cut chunks of it every day and give it to my girls, my chickens, and I still have tons. My squash plant is doing pretty good. I grew this one from seed and did transplant them in. Um, I've got a baby marigold and some beans, which I heard were good companion plants. This um, has been getting flowers. I just haven't been getting any female flowers. So um, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it needs to get a little bit bigger. I'm not sure, but. And then my melons, I heavily planted this. If you guys remember, it's got cucumbers and melons on it. A couple of them have pittered out. This is what I mean. Sometimes it's good to heavily plant because then this, the survival of the fittest here. And you know, the best one wins and then you have some really seriously good cucumbers and or melons. And then, like I said, then I can plant in my other bed where I just pulled the pumpkin and get some more stuff going, um, some fresh, melons or cucumbers or whatever I need. I also put some marigolds in here that are pittering out so I'll be saving those and plant more seeds and there is um, some basil. And then in these green stalks, strawberries are coming in a little bit. Um, that's an eggplant right there. It's doing pretty good. Another Marconi pepper. You can see here the tomatoes are just like they're just hurting here. I've got a couple of yellow pear. These actually do okay throughout our summer. They just don't produce like a ton, which I don't blame them, it's hot. So, got some beans, um, not producing anything. Um, and then my um, cauliflower is still hanging on. But obviously it's probably not gonna produce at this point, but I take the leaves, um, you can eat the leaves. Um, I do some of that and then I give some to my girls. And then still have some of this kale here. It looks like something's kind of getting on it. So um, I've been trying to watch that and see. Swiss chard still does really well this time of the year. Got some beautiful flowers. Um, not too much going on in this bed. I still have two empty loops here at the bottom um, that I'm going to be planting some stuff. Here's some carrots left and yeah, just little stuff here going on. Nothing, nothing too, too productive right now. It's kind of, like I said, coming to that time where I need to pull my spring stuff and get some summer fall stuff in. So a lot of peppers will be coming, okra, um, different stuff like that, watermelon. What do you think, girls? Huh? Are we digging holes and ruining more plants? Yeah, it's what you do best, huh? Yeah. So overall, um, things are doing pretty well. Um, like I said, some new stuff coming in, some old stuff going out. You can tell it's hot when I have my sunshade up over my pond. For my fish, it gets so hot in there for them. So I have to put that up for them. Um, got some new stuff for the property here, right there and right there. So that'll be going up um, in the next few days and we'll be getting that planted. And um, yeah, so I will film all that because it's starting to get to be like a garden. I'm <laughs> so excited about it and just see what grows up there. I don't, I don't know how things are gonna do, but as for here, things are gonna do good. We've got some sunflowers going and uh, some different summer crops. So as soon as I get some more time to get some stuff sewed in, I will definitely do that. I just kind of wanted to take you guys around and show you basically kind of what's going on. And you can see here how much longevity spinach I have and like I said, Okinawa spinach herbs. This is a bed I have over by my air conditioning and it gets 
a lot of shade. There's some thyme. This thyme would probably appreciate a little bit more sun and oregano. Um, but yeah, you can tell this longevity spinach is going to town. I also have these dragon fruits I got online and this finally started to shoot off. This one still hasn't done anything. I've had them at least six months now. So I'm gonna start training these to go up. I'm really excited about having these too because I think it would be really cool to have some dragon fruit. And other than that, that's what's going on here on my garden in Central Florida. And thanks for coming along. And hopefully uh, next time I see you, I'll have even some more stuff going and some more stuff in the ground. And I hope you guys are enjoying this weather and the sunshine and getting outside and growing lots of stuff. So happy gardening. We'll see you next time.